In this week's American Baby segment, pacifiers. They can be the sanity saver for parents dealing with a crying child, but at some point you need to wean your little one off of it. Joining us now to discuss the best way to do that is Trisha O'Brien, Features Editor. Good morning. Good morning. So there are some positives to having your child suck on a pacifier when they're born, right? Absolutely. Babies have this innate need to suck. So when they're done, you know, breastfeeding or bottle feeding, they still may want to just suck and they can get that from a pacifier. But there are some reasons that you need to get your child off of them health wise. What, what are they? Well absolutely. If your kid stays on a pacifier too long there is a potential for them to develop an overbite, to um, have delays in their speech and also develop ear infections. On the positive side though that there is an association with a reduced risk of SIDS. And so how old should you start considering weaning them off of the children? One year old is a really, really good time, but if you, if you pass, you know, if you go to two, don't beat yourself up. That's okay, too. Are there good times to do it, bad times to do it as far as things going on in their lives? Yeah, you don't want to do it during a time when there's something stressful happening. You know, for instance, when they're moving, changing daycares, a new sibling is arriving. Right, because that's a lot of distractions. Absolutely, and they need comfort during that time. Uh, what about involving the rest of the family? Should you make it a team effort? Absolutely. If you if you want to wean your child off the binky, pacifier, whatever you want to call it, tell tell grandma, tell the babysitter, tell everyone who cares for your child. I can imagine there's some attachment that the child has to this pacifier. So how Absolutely. do you make them feel good about this decision? Well, you know, there's a lot of different things you can do. You can try to create an attachment to something else that, like a blanket or or a teddy bear, something like that, is a really good way to do it. And so, what are other ways that you can incentivize your kids so that they're, you know, they're they're they want to be a willing partner in yeah. all this. Well, you know, a really fun thing to do is to say that the binky fairy is coming. So you can tell them <laughs> that you're going to put the binky in a box at night and the binky fairy is going to come and arrive in the middle of the night with a special gift. Very cool. Yeah. So they get a binky fairy early on and then a tooth fairy later on. Absolutely. Right. <laughs> Trisha O'Brien, thanks for all the information. Thank you.